Have you ever wondered if anything can ever go faster than the speed of light? Well, here's your answer. On January 27, 2010, an article came out called Single Photons Observed at Seemingly Faster Than Light Speeds. Researchers at the Joint Quantum Institute, a collaboration of the National Institute of Standards and Technology and the University of Maryland and College Park, can speed up photons to seemingly faster than light speeds through a stack of materials by adding a single strategically placed layer. This experimental demonstration com confirms intriguing quantum physics predictions that lights transmit time through complex multi-layered materials need not depend on thickness, as it does for simple materials such as glass but rather on the order in which the layers are stacked. This is the first published study of this dependence with single photons. Strictly speaking, light always achieves its maximum speed in a vacuum or empty space and slows down appreciably, appreciably when it travels through a material substance such as glass or water. The same is true for light traveling through a stack of dielectric materials, which are electrically insulating, which are electrically insulating and can be used to create high, highly reflexive structures that are often used as optical coatings on mirrors or fiber optics. In a follow-up to, to earlier experimental measures, the JQI researches created stacks of approximately 30 dielectric layers, each about 80 nanometers thick, equivalent to about a quarter of a wavelength of the light traveling through it. The layers alternated between high and low refractive index material, which caused light waves to bend or reflect by varying amounts. After a single photon hits the boundary, between the H and L, or high and low layers, it has a chance of being reflected or passing through. When encountering a stack of 30 layers alternating between low and high, the rare photons that completely penetrate the stack pass through in about 12.84 femtoseconds, and that's a quadrillionth of a second. Adding a single low index layer to the end of the stack disproportionately increases the photon trans transit time by three and a by approximately three and a half femtoseconds to about sixteen point thirty six femtoseconds. On the contrary, adding an extra high layer to the to the stack of 30 layers alternating between high and low would reduce the transit time to about 5.34 femtoseconds so that individual photons seem to emerge through the 2.6 micron thick stack at uh, superluminal or faster than light speeds. What the JQI researchers are seeing can be explained by the wave properties of light. In this experiment, the light begins and ends its existing its existence acting as a particle, a photon. But when one of these photons hits a boundary between the layer of material, it creates waves at each surface, and the traveling light waves interfere with each other just as opposing ocean waves can cause a riptide at the beach. With high and low layers arranged just right, the interfering light waves combine to give rise to transmitted photons that emerge early. No faster than light speed information transfer occurs because in actuality it is something of an illusion. Only a small proportion of photons make it through the stack, and if all the initial photons were detected, the detectors would record photons over normal distribution of times.